Yo YouTube, what's going on and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, last episode we took on the bandits, we found Ginger. And uh, this episode we are going to... I believe... I think I want to get some training done. I also want to go and get uh, some maintenance and stuff done. Stuff like that. We have a bunch of armor and weapons that we need to... Uh, repair to get our maintenance level up so i think we'll start with that since it's early morning going to doing our maintenance stuff and repairing stuff and then selling stuff and then we'll hit the training up finish that off and i think i want to do the hunting but before i do the hunting see i'm in a dilemma here I want to do hunting to get money, all right? But I also want to run up to Ushits and get our reading done. That way, when we're in the middle of hunting and we've exhausted all the money for the day that we can get out of hunting, we can do some reading. Um, I think what I'm going to do is... You know, we'll start with the hunting. Then once we get a little bit of a bankroll, because we need money to buy books, once we get a little bit of a bankroll, we'll uh, go do the reading in the middle of it. But that's where we're at. That's what we're going to start with. I also need to get these other two question marks here. This is the Tanner, and that's the bathhouse. We need to go and uh, see them. <clears throat> but yeah, let's get started. Nice, beautiful morning. Wash your shuts off here. Uh, where's our puppy at? He should be here. There he is. Are you following us? Huh? What's uh? What's your obedience at right now? Oh, you're at a hundred. You're good to go, old pup. That's right. Take a piss on that. Take a piss on that. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get going. So, like I said, we're gonna go do the maintenance first. Uh, I'm gonna ride over here real quick, just so we get the tanner unlocked. Just so it says, "Hey, this is the tanner." There we go. Discovered the tanner, which is not important because you pretty much never use the tanner here. At least I don't. And now we need to discover the bathhouse here, which is very important. You use the bathhouse a lot. There we go. Yeah. Now let's get into town and get our uh, maintenance stuff going. Get a bunch of weapons and armors and stuff on us and the horse. So we can repair all that stuff and get it going. Get our maintenance started. Ooh, that guy didn't have a body. Did you see that? I think we're going to start at the grinding stone. Which I think there's one down here. Yeah, it's in the... the in the back there. At the armor shop, maybe? Let's go take a look real quick. Thought it said it was back here. Am I just missing it? Where are we at here? Oh, yeah, right here. Right here, grindstone. We can use this one here. Nice. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do, we're going to go into inventory and we're going to... Get rid of all the stuff that's not weapons on us. Put it on the horse. Anything that's of weight. And then... We're gonna go to the horse. And take off all the weapons. Every one of them that we can... Repair. We can't repair clubs. We can repair that. Nice. Alright, we get all that on us. And we're going to do the grindstone. I'm going to skip through this. And uh, come back to you after everything's all sharpened up. But we're going to sharpen every one of these and get our maintenance level up. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, let's take a look at what our maintenance level is. So we know. Maintenance. Right there, we are about two-thirds of the way through level one. Alright. See you at the end. 
All right, we just finished repairing all the uh, weapons here. Uh, we got them, not all of them at the 100, but the daggers you can't repair, so I'm not worried about that. You can repair them with a, 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 a kit, but not with the wheel. But we did get all of the weapons we can repair repaired there. They're all not at 100, but they're all pretty close. 96 like the lowest one they have there. That's close enough, and we ended up going from 1 and 2 thirds to 3 and 2 thirds. So we gained 2 levels of maintenance by doing that. And it took literally, I don't know, 4 minutes at most to do that. And uh, we got a perk point to spend, so we're going to drop a perk point. And I think I'm going to do it on 7 mile boots, because the only 2 options we have is Fragrance, which is freshly laundry clothes on you have a one higher charisma for one day which you're not gonna i mean you can take a bath all the time but you have to go out of your way to go to the bathhouse to get that and get your clothes done so and you only get it for one day so that's not really that worth it to me i think we're gonna go with seven mile boots which is if you're wearing boots you repaired yourself spreading will cost you 20 percent less stamina so you can run for longer I think that's a good one to go for because we're going to be constantly repairing our own boots. So that's what we're taking. All right. Now that we got all the weapons done, let's put all these back on the horse. Um, there we go. Just drop them all back off. Actually, you know what? We don't have to do that. We can just go sell them. Since we're right next to the armor smith, we'll just go ahead and sell all these. Not the armor smith, the weapon smith. Sword smith, whatever you want to call them. What do you need? Just gonna go ahead and sell all these. God be with you. Uh all three of these. How much money do you have? You have one point five K. Okay. Get that. We don't need the sword. Copper axe. Get rid of the this dagger. Um, 48 and 48 compared to our 37 and 46. So the mercenary bedfellow is better. We'll use that one for now. We'll get rid of shard. Yeah. Until we get a long sword. That's the plan. So we get four hundred dollars out of this. Um, is there anything I want to buy off of you? I might just buy a long sword now, if we can afford it. See, this one's. I don't know what weapon I want to go for. Do I want to go for a long sword? Or do I want to go for a mace? I think we're going to start with longsword, and then if we get longsword maxed out after a while, then we're going to switch over to doing something else, maybe mace, if we get bored with the longsword. So I think that's what we're going to start with. Which I don't know which longswords are good, because I had never really used a longsword. So we're going to have to go search through all these real quick and try to find a good one to use. Alright, I think I figured out on which sword I want to get. Um, I would like to get the Herod's, Herod, Herod, I don't know how that's pronounced, the sword. Uh, but it doesn't have a, the greatest stab damage, it has good slash damage, defense is 108, but it takes a minimum strength of 10, which we do not have to use. So the best one we can have right now, for, I think, is this one, uh, Merchant Longsword. And, uh, I mean, the stab damage, slash damage are both the same. So that's good. Defense of 94, but it takes a minimum strength of 5. So we can actually wield this one right now. Durability of 50. I think this is one we're going to go for. Right here, Merchant Sword. So we're going to snag that. And we're going to uh, check the basket and haggle. Alright, sweet. We get that sold to him. And... Let me get... I forget. I keep forgetting this stuff. Actually, we don't need a, a thing from him. We can get a, a blacksmith thing from from the blacksmith. We don't need to get it off of him. So that's fine. Run over here to the armor smith. Bread. Bread. And, and I want to 
Talk to him. Good day to you. What do you need? And talk trade. Um, and we want to buy some small armor kits from him. We'll buy one for right now. All right, <clears throat> we just bought the armor kit. Now we need to go to the horse. And we're going to take... I forget to grab those. So we'll go ahead and grab these now. We'll just sell them to him. Move to inventory. I want to move all of this to my inventory. So I can repair anything... That I need to repair. Go over to our inventory. And we need to go down to small armor's kit. And just repair everything. And that's all the stuff we can repair. And we're going to move these to the horse. Small tailor's kit. Let's go ahead and repair stuff as well with this. Nice. And I want to move this to the horse to the spade. And I think we're good. Now... Actually, before we talk to him, let's make sure we get on the best stuff that we need for right now. Um, we have this on, so we don't need... We don't have another one that's worth using. We have that. Leather gloves I'm keeping. Leather jerkin. Well, that's stolen. Let's move that to the horse. Mm. Alright, let's get some stuff repaired. Oh, you can't repair anything that... Okay. So you can't repair the stuff I want to get repaired anyways. So then we're just going to trade. Grab that. These gloves. Make sure we don't sell them the, uh... Stolen gloves. And I want to keep this... Gamus in here to repair it to see if it's better than the sturdy one. And I think we're good. Let's haggle with him. Okay, we bought a book off of the uh, armor smith there, just in preparation. We had the money, so he sells a book Vegetable in there. We bought it off of him. We're actually going to move it to the horse right now. Uh, keep all of our books on the horse, just so we always have them whenever we need to wait for a period of time. That way we can read. Now we need to talk to him. And get repairs. God save you. God be with you. All right, I want to repair this. That only cost like five cents to repair, so maybe it's not good. Haggle with him, of course. He didn't have any books. Onward we go.
I want to check this apothecary real quick. I think he has a book we can get off of him. Good day to you. Would you teach me more about alchemy? And I want to get this alchemy started. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Go ahead and pay him. Now, pay close attention. Good luck. We need to learn how to read before we can do alchemy, but I just wanted to get that started. Um, talk trade. Alright, do you have a book for me that's not recipes? Because I don't want to buy recipes right now. You do. Alchemist Dream. So we want that. Alright. And let's haggle with him. Sweet. Alright, we have one last stop to make. We need to go and stop at the cobblers. It's right here. Come on, buddy. Get on out here. God save you. Go ahead and get uh, I don't know if I want to get repaired right now. I might buy different shoes off them. Hurry up and sit down so we can talk. Leather boots is what I want. That costs 400. We can probably snag leather boots off of somebody else. So I might not buy it off of them. Okay. One thing I do want is cobbler's kit. And you don't have any books. All right, sweet. Now we got our boots repaired. Everything's good to go. We got our sword. Now let's go hit up the training. Which should be late enough in the day now that he should be here. Yeah, there he is. Okay. So there's our combos. Let's talk to him. Let's get some more advanced training done. Uh, training. I'd like to learn combos. to really hurt your opponent it's no use just flailing at him and hoping you get lucky you need technique but using skilled moves is no easy matter there's no miraculous strikes you can learn that will ensure you win every duel you've got to work those techniques into your combat force your opponent into a position you want him in and then attack unexpectedly oh shit ah. see i strike from overhead then slash from the side and back swing low down. So you expect me to strike from below, but then I turn the sword and strike you with the other side. Once more, defend. I was defending, but it didn't let me. All right. Strike from above, then from the right, then slash. The strikes have to follow quickly, one after the other. As soon as one lands, you start the next. You have to keep exactly to the sequence, otherwise it won't come off. Slash from above. Slash from the right. Slash from below. Go! Okay, so it wants us to do this pattern. Above, right, and then there. Okay. We start here. That's nice. It. There's one. That's it. Try it once more. 
Oh, you're actually going to attack me now. Okay. I didn't know he was going to attack me. Try to catch the rhythm. As soon as one blow lands, change the target zone and strike again. Right away. Don't stop. There it is. Try it once more. All right. You can learn lots of similar techniques with every weapon. Train and practice. All right, so now we did the chain strikes. Now I want to talk to him and do master strikes. I think I've mastered the basics of combat. Could you teach me <clears throat> something a bit more advanced? I see. This just gives us what the counter. What are you such a master at? I'm pretty good with a sword. You're a bit cocky, ain't you? All right, then. Let's see what you can do. You're as good as you think you are. I'll teach you some master strikes. I'm ready. All right, now the trick in this, whenever you're fighting somebody, there's two ways to block. Uh, you get a perfect block whenever that green little shield pops up in that circle. That'll get a perfect block if you hit that at the right time. And uh, if you hit block right before they start to swing, like you can see their motion when they're getting ready to actually commit to a swing. If you block before that little uh, thing pops up, it actually performs a master strike, which is actually a counter, which is he's about to teach us that. Um, it's a little difficult at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty simple. We won't be able to do it until he teaches us, so we're just going to have to block for the beginning of it right now. Take your weapon and fight. If you look like you know what you're doing, I'll teach you a trick or two. Uh, we gotta beat him first. Here we go. Smack him with that. Make sure we get a good block on him. Smack him again. How did you like that, buddy? Smack him again. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Nice block. Ooh. Enough. That will do. That wasn't all, right. all bad. So we passed. All right. It seems you're ready for the next lesson. Now, pay close attention. I'll teach you the most important thing. It's good to be able to attack. It's good to be able to fend off your opponent's blows. But the best is when you're able to do both at once. A master stroke is when you parry your opponent's blow and strike him at the same time. Attack me, and I'll show you how it's done. See? I parry and strike in one move. There's no defense against this technique if it's executed well. The thing is to time it right. Block right into your opponent's strike and match your movement to his. One elegant technique and the fight is won. Try it. I'll attack slowly. You parry. Okay, it wants us to do perfect block first. Well done. Very good. Um, I think that's all we can do for him. Yep. All right, so now we have it. So, like I said, uh, you can tell when somebody's about to swing at you, and that's when you want to hit the block. You want to hit it slightly before you, so you don't want to do a perfect block. You actually want to do the parry, but when we get into combat, I'll show you guys. 
it's a lot easier once you're in combat to see what I'm talking about. So we did the training. We got our training started and done. Uh, do we have any skill points? Did we gain any skill points off of that? No. All right. Um. It does not look like it. What are buffs? Power, power. That's it. All right. We get all that done. Now I want to go and start the hunting. And I'll show you guys quickly how we hunt. Uh, I could. I need to drop that ring off over here. So I think we're going to head that way. Um, let's just fast travel over to here real quick. <clears throat> And then we'll cut that way and go up through that way. Once we drop the ring off, then we'll run up to uh, uh, Townburg and get the hunting started. All right, we're at the Millers. Is that the Miller? It is the Miller. Good day to you. Uh, here we go. Miller Peshek from Ratoy sent me with this ring for you. A ring. Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the... Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours. Testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations. You passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. Uh, Alright, we'll just pick up a quest over here. Help with anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need resolving. I have some scores to settle with the commander of the Talmberg Guard, and I want to get my own back. You may have heard that Sir Robart of Talmberg is a stickler for having all his gear neat and tidy. The commander of the Guard? Sir Robart? I'm already confused. Just tell me what I need to do. It's like this. I want you to break into the Talmberg Armory and steal a few Waffen rocks with the coat of arms on them. Ah, and once Sir Robard finds some of his guardsmen's equipment is missing... He'll see to the commander of the guard, who's the only one with keys and answerable for their safekeeping. When Robard finds out he's losing things from under his nose, he'll have him whipped. And I'll get what I'm after. Satisfaction. Take at least five Waffen Rocks to make it a proper stink. Consider it done. What am I to do with the Waffen Rocks once I have them? I'll burn them to get rid of the evidence. Just make sure you don't get caught. Alright, that's our first uh, be with you. thing to do with them. First quest. Which we'll get into pickpocketing and lockpicking later. Uh, right now, like I said, I want to get the hunting done. So we're actually just going to fast travel to Talmberg. Because this is kind of the area we're going to be hunting in. Talk to him. You're the young fellow who came here from Scarlet, half dead, aren't you? Yes, that'll be me. Why? The lady of the castle was asking after you. She wants to talk to you. Ah, I'll go and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. Good luck to you. Okay. So we got a little quest to do here. We'll go talk to her. There she is. The Lord save you. What do you need? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, 
And you're going to find them for me. My lady, why me? <sighs> Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? It will be my honor, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sasau for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujits. Okay. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. That should be enough. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. You said uh, a roan from Ujits. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but... I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous. All right. Wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. Goodbye. All right, so we get that quest started with her. Now I wonder if we can get this in. I was able to get a room here. Here it is, a place to sleep. So we just had to start that quest with her. Have you got a bed for the night? Well, I suppose I could find something. Well, one, for how long? one a brick. Uh, you always want, you want to go for a few nights? That makes it a permanent bed. That means oh, you can always sleep here. Several nights. All right. Money up front, though. And it costs you 250 Oh, this one only costs 200 I'm fine with paying 200 because we're about to make a bunch of money. You like it here? Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. Farewell. Now, our bed is back in here. Use the ladder, get up here. And this is our personal chest, which links to our main chest. So it has everything that we store in here. And what we want to do... Oh, I didn't sell these weapons. I want to put everything in here that I don't need on me. Actually, first thing I want to do is take everything off the horse I don't need on the horse. Uh, the spade I'll keep on them. The books and stuff. That's not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna grab all these arrows. And we'll keep the sword on us, I suppose. This armor, I am going to move all of it in here. Or most of it. We won't need it for hunting. I mean, we can keep the leather jerkin. That can go in here. Don't need the padded coif. Padded chassis. Chosses. Whatever they're called. Um, van braces we got to keep on us. Dirty gamutson can go. This can go. Uh, we don't need these potions. Even though they're not much weight. Mm. Alright, that's good enough. So now, this is our bed. This is where we sleep and save. We have this here. And then we're gonna start to do hunting. 
And uh, I'll show you guys what you can do. This is the Huntsmith here. We're going to run up there to him. Don't hurt myself, please. Right up this road. And here's the Huntsman. This is the guy we're going to be selling a bunch of our meat to and everything right here. Um, I want to buy some arrows off of him. Jesus Christ be praised. Um, I think the long distance arrows is what you want to go for to start with. Let's buy those off of them. I'm going to buy all 40 off of them. Yeah, we're not going to bother haggling with them. Not at all. And then uh, the hunting is going to be right here in this area. Uh, from here to over here. We're pretty much going to be making a loop back and forth killing deer in this area right here. And then once we fill the horse up and ourselves up, we run back and drop it off to him. And every day we completely buy him out. The next day he's going to have a bigger stockpile of money for us so that is the plan and i'll show you guys how to do that but uh we're actually going to cut the episode here for today and uh next episode we're going to do the hunting we're going to go get our reading started and we're going to get a stockpile of money going so that's what we're doing next episode but we're going to go ahead and cut it right here hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh make sure you hit the like sub all that good stuff and we will catch you guys on the next one later